Hi there, I'm Mary from the Halton Hills Public Library and today I'd like to show you how to do a little bit of magic with a little bit of milk. Milk painting to be precise. So for this you're going to need some paper. I have a tray that I'm using uh, going to paint on top of just to protect my table and I'm going to need it for the second half of this activity for sure just to keep things a little bit tidy. You're going to need some high fat milk or even some coffee cream. Um, something with a good uh, fat content in it. Um, cotton swab or two. If you don't have any of those at home, you can always use a small paintbrush, but this is kind of fun. And the trickiest and most important thing is you need some pencil shavings. So I have my pencil sharpener here, and this morning I sharpened a whole bunch of pencils to make sure that this was nice and full. So basically we have three steps. Step one is the easy part. You dip your cotton swab into your milk or coffee cream and then you paint. Let's see, I'm going to paint some words. Let's see if I can do this pretty quickly here. A couple extra dips just to make sure I'm getting some milk onto my paper. It's a little tricky to see because of course it's white on white. Magic. I'd like it to be tricky to see because it's kind of fun to sort of guess that what you're drawing is going to turn out looking like what you expect it to look like. So that's it. Mine is draw is done. Now step two, the hard part, waiting for the paint to dry. This could take anywhere from about 10 or 15 minutes to you know, close to an hour if you do a big painting or if you use a lot of milk or cream. If you get your paper quite wet, it'll take a lot longer for it to dry. Um, but we won't start the next part until the paint is dry. Okay, that definitely was the hardest part. Mine felt like it took almost forever to dry. But I think it's pretty dry now. And you can see my paper seems a little bit crinkled where the liquid was, and I can still see a little bit what I drew. But now we're gonna do the magic to actually reveal that. This is where step three, the fun part comes in. This is when we need to get the pencil shavings. This is also when you need to make sure that you have your painting over a tray or a box to collect the shavings because if they get on your table or your floor they make a horrible mess and they're not fun to clean up. But this is all you do. Sprinkle those pencil shavings over your picture. Cover it pretty well as much as you can get and then just shake it around. Shake it. Make sure that you cover every section with the pencil shavings. Here we go. I'm starting to see something and when you start to see something, tap to get the extra dust off and can you see what I did? A secret message. How does this work? As the milk dries, the water that's in the milk evaporates, but the fat that's in the milk doesn't. That actually sticks to the surface of the paper. And then when we shake our pencil shavings on top of it, most of the pencil shavings look like the wood from the pencils. In between all of that wood is a fine dust created by the lead from the pencils. That lead dust sticks to the fat that has dried on the surface of the paper and creates milk painting magic. I hope you get to try this and I hope you have fun.